reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 6 through 14. When the apostles had come together, they asked Jesus, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath's day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. Here ends the lesson. In the name of the risen Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. is the Robert Redford picture, The Candidate. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to tell you the end. In it, Redford plays this kind of not sure what I'm going to do with my life character who somehow gets roped into To say that this is a fool's error is to make an understanding. Rector's character has no chance. He doesn't have the money. He doesn't have the establishment experience. He doesn't have the uh, group of people going out and gathering support for him. But somehow, somewhere,
story as Jesus ascends into the clouds, returning to his father. His mission is complete. And so it is time for him to return to the right hand of God. And looking up, you have to imagine that at least one of the apostles, at least one of these early Christians looked at the other and said, what do we do now? They've been instructed by these angels, these men in white, that they should return to Jerusalem. Well, me personally, if I was one of them, I wouldn't be going back to Jerusalem. Not without Jesus. Jesus is their protection. He was the man who had died and was raised. But now we're supposed to go back to Jerusalem without Jesus, and Jesus wants us just to wait until something happens. Those are the things that we do. 
this week and every week as we wait on the visitation of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, who will give us all peace.